In Central Africa, Gabon's new Prime Minister, Raymond Ndong Sima, says a two-year transition before the free elections promised by the junta leaders is a reasonable objective. He made the remark during an interview on Sunday where he noted that Gabon's new military leaders have a desire to see the process come to an end in 24 months so the country can go back to the elections. He added that the period could end up being slightly longer or shorter. Sima was appointed last week as head of the transitional government by General Bryce Oligui Nguema, who led the August coup d'etat against President Ali Bongo Odimba. Je suis toujours d'avis qu'il faut, au départ, partir sur une période de l'ordre de 24 mois, qui peut être légèrement inférieure, qui peut être légèrement supérieure, mais pour moi, 24 mois est un objectif raisonnable. Le processus que nous devons conduire pour arriver à cette élection est un processus inclusif. Qui dit inclusif dit des discussions et des concertations qui vont associer beaucoup de gens. Il y aura donc des allers-retours, des synthèses, des restitutions et des validations des, des résultats qu'on aura obtenus à mi-parcours. Par conséquent, je crois que ça peut se dérouler dans un intervalle de euh, 24 mois. Engineer Elvis, journalist, joins us to discuss more on this particular development. Thank you so much for your time, Elvis. It's a pleasure, sir. All right, so let's get straight to it. Uh, Gabon Prime Minister has announced 24 months transitional plan. What are your thoughts or reservations? Well, um, uh, you know, generally with the, uh, the military takeovers in Africa, we have realized that they hardly ever do respect um, the transition period. So when he says 24 months and he adds that it could be slightly inferior to that or slightly above that, well, we can simply but keep, keep our fingers crossed. But personally, I really do not think that they are going to respect the 24 months period. And even if they were to do, the truth is that um, the military junta in Gabon has already put in place strategies or are putting in place already all necessary measures to ensure that after the 24 months, even if they organize elections, they will still be the same persons to come back. Because if my memory doesn't fail me, I think they have already put in place a certain constitution with very hard measures as to who can be eligible to become um, uh, to stand for the presidency or as president in Gabon. And uh, I think that looking at the new uh, uh, conditions put in place, there are every indication is pointing to the fact that um, uh, the new strong man in Gabon may be the same person to succeed himself at the end of the day. Now, what are the things you think should be put in place on ground before a transition? Well, what should be put on ground before the transition? Oh, uh, I want to think that, um, uh, you know, generally in, in, in Central Africa, we have always had this issue of um, uh, electoral fraud. They should be able to put in place an electoral code that can permit elections to be free. They should be able to put in place an electoral system that is quite transparent and make sure that institutions that run elections in Gabon are quite independent and not, or let me say, the members should not be appointed by the, those in government. They should ensure that um, a political party, that is those of the opposition, every person has a level ground to play on. Nobody is intimidated and things of that nature. They should ensure that um, uh, electoral offices are open all through the national territory, such that all the Gabonese are given room to partake. And unfortunately, like I say, it is Central Africa. We know how the French politics is played back this way. And like I say, what I rather fear already is the fact that they themselves are already putting in place a certain constitution that I'm afraid gives room for just one man to eventually succeed himself at the helm of the state. Mm. Now, uh, before we even get to that, uh, let's talk about uh, international interference. Do you think the international community needs to interfere in the affairs of Gabon, given the fact that the current junta seems to enjoy a bit of uh, support or popularity from the populace there? Uh, we have seen uh, military junctures across Africa, especially in West Africa, support some sort of popular, uh, 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 get some popular support from the masses, but they were never appreciated by the West. Uh, in Gabon, I think it is slightly different because, uh, in as much as we may think that it is a step towards changing the Ali Bungos, who have been there for over 56 years or so, I think it is still the same uh, system that 
continuous. And I want to think that um, uh, the West is strongly behind the president military juncture, particularly France. That is why uh, I, it may not really change anything much. Now, as to whether the Western powers should intervene, what I will tell you sincerely is that I am not interested in the Western past intervening in any political affairs, be they in Gabon, be they in any other African country. Africans should be allowed to run the affairs of their states as much as they can without any foreign countries, uh, Western countries, wanting to think that they can always be the one to dictate to Africans what they need to do or what they need not do. We are not children. We are not babies for them to dictate to us. Let the Gabonese be allowed to run their affairs, but I can rather call on the junta to respect um, uh, their word, keep to their 24 months transition as they have said, and they ensure they, 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 they organize free and fair elections and let every other uh, 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 presidential candidate be able to stand, campaign, and then do what he or she can do to prove their worth and let the Gabonese vote just the right person that they will want to take over from there. All right, finally, before I let you go, Elvis, we've seen many cases in the past where former military dictators uh, who propose transitional governments end up becoming, you know, uh, candidates themselves in the elections and even winning and succeeding and staying for, you know, quite, uh, you know, a, a lot of time. How do you see this path to democracy in Gabon? Do we see a repetition or do we project a repetition of history or something new? I'm afraid in Gabon, it is, it, it, history has been repeated already because I already started by saying they are putting in place already a certain constitution that gives very tough measures as to who can be eligible to become the next or to stand for that post of the president. And you see that given the constitution in place, uh, the president's strongman, the general, I think he is already a candidate for himself and he, he, he makes it clear that the military how, can, can also stand in for elections. Secondly, when you see the uh, 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 Sima, who has been um, uh, appointed prime minister, remember that he's of the opposition. And by appointing him, I think they are already politically barring him the way. They are barring him the way from eventually standing as a political, as a presidential candidate when the right time comes. So you understand that technically it is a game they are playing. Why setting a foot, uh, 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 the, the pace for the general to eventually succeed himself? So I don't think that history is going to change. It is, it is repeating itself, and I think he has done so already in Gabon. The signs there are very glaring. All right. Thank you so much for your time, Elvis.